Yeah, so as you said, we you know it's hard to see a short or, or really medium term solution that will satisfy all parties. We, we kind of have a truce right now, which has been uh, precipitated by the uh, election result um, over a couple weeks ago. Um, for, from a market point of view, though, however, um, the market is pretty defensive uh, at about 26,000. We think that's around 11 times forward PE. Um, and so we think at this at this sort of level, it's it's pricing in you know a lot of what we were seeing before the the current current sort of truce. If we were to take a, you know a worst case scenario in, in some of the uh, periods which have been much much more disruptive uh, to Hong Kong economy and, and market, we've seen uh, uh, the, the HSI sink to levels of around nine times PE. This is level like SARS. The original handover, GFC. Mm -hmm. um, so I think we would consider that, you know, the absolute downside. But I, I, I think where we are now is kind of about right, given given we're in this sort of true situation. So what do you see then 2020 holding for the Hong Kong market more broadly? Yes, it's underperformed its peers around the region on the yeah. back of the violence that has been going on. What do you see as we move into 2020? Will investors start to deal, I guess, with a new normal that could be what we're seeing ongoing in Hong Kong? Yeah, I mean, I, I think in, I think that's exactly right. We're already starting to see a, a new normal. Um, I think the main theme for us for 2020 is going to be uh, earnings recovery across the region. So if you look at Asia, uh, ex-Japan, earnings have peaked 18 months ago um, and still have not yet found a bottom. We're down 20% in terms of actual earnings uh, over, that, over that period of time. So part of this is going to be cyclical. Part of this is going to be some specific events, such as Hong Kong, such as um, you know, delayed investment decisions. Um, but 18 months is getting towards the end of your, your expected period of decline. So we, we should be probably seeing uh, earnings uh, start to reaccelerate in, in the course of 2020. And we think that's the most important theme uh, for the region. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.